Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm Adida from App Micro. Today we'll be learning how to use PSCP to copy files from host to server. This kind of scenario mostly happens when um, your VM is not allowed to download from the internet. So the first thing we need to do is download putty. Right, so say download putty. And let's download this. Click on this. And I'm going to choose uh, 64 bits for myself, x86. That's my uh, laptop. If yours is 32 or ARM, just do that. So I'm going to click this. I already have one, but uh, let me just use the new one. Right, so let's click next. Click next install and right we've installed it so now we need to install one more thing which is if you scroll down alternative binary files which is psp in some cases if you download it it may come with pscp but if it doesn't just download from here pscp xe and now we are going to copy this pscp file to the location of putty so first thing we need to do is go to this let's go to download and this is the pscp copy this all right and let's go to our c we are looking for our putty see where it is this is putty and good we have pscp here but in case you don't have PSCP, you can't find it on your own. That's the way you can download yours, right? And then copy it into this part, right? So just do like this. But this, I'm going to close it because we already have a PSCP here. Great. So let's add, um put it to our part so that we will be able to... Uh, execute pscp straight from uh the terminal so let's go here so here this is part let's click on edit right and add uh, this new part and let's go here and just click like this and copy ctrl c and new and copy this part right here right so say okay okay and we are good to go so uh the next thing we need to do is create a vm so i'm going to use aws here if you don't have it just sign up just take a dollar um, we are using the ec2 to create instance um instance go to instances and launch an instance my own case i'll call it pscp vm right and i'll choose this amazon linux and make sure it's free to eligible so they don't charge you and 64 bit i'm going to choose t2 micro let me create a key pair and i'm going to choose rsa i'm going to choose dot ppk because I'm using it with putty and let me give it PSCP that's the name of the key pair create key pair right and that's what we'll be using uh, here so if I scroll down uh, I will create security group and allow SSH anywhere so the name is going to be called launch wizard 2 which is fine with me that's it if everything the way it is a launch instance so while we are launching our instance let's go let's go to our putty right and click on putty don't forget that uh our key has been downloaded here so let's go to our pit putty and first thing we want to do is go to ssh and go to hoth Go to credentials and we'll load our key into here. Go to downloads, that's where we have it. This is PSCP. 
and come straight here to session and let's go and connect let's click on connect and go to ssh client and let's copy this copy this you can use the public ip as well and go here paste it right here and what do we do say open and it's going to tell us something and say accept it's telling us ec2 user as a name so things mm -hmm. for that we're inside so now that we're inside uh there's something we need to do first and this is it we need to do sudo vim vim is an editor ssh and sshd underscore config we need to edit this file and turn the password authentication to yes because when we want to copy pscp is going to ask us uh for password so let's scroll down to where you see password authentication make sure you see it so this is it here and let's turn it to what yes press hi to edit yes escape great so now that we do this so let's change the password you see to that's the name of our user right uh from right that's not the command so though password ec2 user it should be the command yes so input your password that you want to use the new password and what we need to do for this to work is to what we need to reboot our system right so for this to be able to take place i'm just going to reboot from here go to instances click here and reboot instance once we do this it's going to tell us to log in back again can you see this remote side closed connection so let's close this and open putty again putty hub and let's connect let's go and copy this again right and go here go here i think we should already have our authentication and if it's not there okay let's copy it again paste okay uh just click it just load it sorry then go back to your session right and open connection refused let's go back say putty and auth load browse right go to session come here to the ssh client copy this and probably still rebooting to this and open all right so see ec2 user and we are here now we are good so sometimes you may ask you for password so just type your password and go inside now so now we want to use pscp so we are going to use powershell right powershell windows powershell and run as administrator if you are not yeah so let me type pscp because we copy it in our part it should work great so let's see uh pscp uh documentation just type pscp documentation right and come here let's go to usage yeah and if we scroll down let's just go to the basics 
and what we want to do is first if you see this is telling us this is from host server as user to uh to the file so this is from uh, host which is the source to target but that's not what we want to do we want to do from source to target so this is from source to target and it's telling us PSCP the source and to our target so what we want to do is go to our, our PowerShell and if we do PWD and what we want to do is under here let's do ls we want to create a file so let's go to our desktop and just create a file you can only transfer files cannot transfer directory if you want to transfer directory you have to zip it and turn it to a file right let's just do let's just go to desktop and let's create a file let's call it uh document text document call it file one open it this is us transferring files let's just save it so now desktop and if we go here to our partial and uh we'll clear the screen here and my desktop if i type ls so we have file one.txt so now we want to copy so we just do pscp right because we are inside this desktop we are inside here let's just do ps pscp file one right which is our source because we are inside this sometimes um if you are using from one host to host name you have to type the host name right but this one we are going to use from our source here and what you have to do is this is right here is where it's going to right so ec2 user this is where it's going to right and come here let me just paste it and you do this it's going home and i'll show you to our home directory and it is ec2 user like this that's where we want to send it to so if we come here and we do pwd you see that's where we are home ec2 user so let's let's just clear this and we are transferring file one txt into this place so if we press enter it's asking me for password that's the password we created on this entire password and it said 100 percent has been transferred so if we go back to our send do ls now we have our file one.txt so this is how you copy using pscp from source to destination and of course you can copy from here also uh back to uh your source but you can do vice versa just go through uh the pscp documentation to see how it's gone so thank you for watching this video if you like it please subscribe share and uh, give us thumbs up you can even comment it will help uh the channel thank you very much have a nice day